Okay, I'm gonna show you how to set and then add with a mixed number. A mixed number is a fraction that has a whole number and then also the fraction part. So this one is three and a half. So we're gonna start by setting the whole number to the, oh, in the millions period. So I have my hundreds, my thousands, and my millions. So I'm gonna set three there in the unit of the millions period. And now I'm going to set the one half. I'm going to set the numerator, which is one, in the thousands period, and the denominator, which is two, in the hundreds period. So now I have, here I have it, three and a half. And I want to add, let's say I want to add two and three fourths. So the first thing that I need to do is find the least common denominator the lowest denominator. So here I'm going to go ahead and set my one half on the far left of my abacus with a one and then a space, one rod space, and then two next to that space. Okay, so now I'm going to think about my two and about my four in my denominator for my, the ad, my second add end. And I'm going to think, okay, I know that two times two is four, and I think that's the lowest common denominator that I can get. So I'm going to change, so I'm going to multiply my denominator by two so I can get to the four. So two times two is four, and then I'm going to multiply my numerator because the value of the fraction stays the same when you multiply it by um, the same number over the same number, so two over two. So I'm going to multiply my one by two, and I get two, so I have two fourths. So I'm going to come over to the right-hand side of my abacus, and I'm going to change my fraction to two fourths. I can clear the um, fraction on my left-hand side of my abacus now. Okay, now I can perform my addition here because I have three and two fourths plus two and three fourths. So I'm gonna start by adding my whole number, which is two. Um, I can't add it directly, so I'm going to add 5 and clear 3. So I get 5 as my whole number. Now I'm going to move to my numerator. I want to add 3. I can't do that directly, so I'm just going to add 5 and clear 2. So then I'm going to go, my denominator doesn't change. I already have my least common denominator here, um, which is 4. So now I'm gonna read my answer and it's gonna be a little funky, so we're gonna to have to change it up a little. So I have my answer as five and five fourths. Okay, so let's think about that, five and five fourths. Five and five fourths. Five fourths is an improper fraction. So I need to figure out how to change that so it can be um, correct, correctly formatted for my answer. So I know that four fourths is going to be one. So I want to take that four fourths, that one out, and I'm going to add that whole number to my whole number section, that one. So in essence, I'm doing five fourths minus four fourths, and I'm putting that one where it belongs. And what do I get then if I, subtract five minus four for the numerator, I get one. So then my final answer is going to be six and one fourth. And that's how I do um, an addition problem on the abacus.